Hey guys, Erica and Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. I've got the Gamo Arrow. This is a 22 caliber PCP, but it is also available in 177. This is an inexpensive backyard plinker or pester. Let's check it out. Really quick, I want to say thank you to Gateway to Airguns for making this video possible. Go check them out, guys, www.gatewaytoairguns.org. www.gatewaytoairguns.org. Okay, so first off, like always, guys, aesthetics. The Gamo Arrow is a non-regulated PCP. And the one I'll be running through the grip program today is 22 caliber. From butt to muzzle, Total length is 38.98 inches and weight is five pounds. That's without an optic, that's super light, guys. The length of pull is 14.4 inches and attached to its ventilated rubber butt pad is the ambidextrous, traditional, gamo, automotive grade, glass-filled, nylon, all-weather stock with a textured grip and forearm and a raised cheek piece. Another common feature on gamo air guns is the two-stage independently adjustable custom action trigger with the push forward manual safety in front of the trigger for its easy access. It is bolt action and when I first heard about this gun I thought it shot arrows. Now I see why this gun is called the arrow. The bolt looks like an arrow and we'll get into how to operate that during the operation portion of this video but that is pretty creative. Okay, so in front of the bolt, of course, there's the action, and on top of the action, you'll find the optics rail. This is an 11 millimeter dovetail rail, but wait, this has open sights. It's got a front fiber optic sight as well as a rear fiber optic adjustable sight for windage and elevation. Definitely check it out with the open sights first if you're able. I wouldn't go back to 50 yards or 35. I would start maybe 20, 25, and the worse your eyesight is, maybe the closer you get. But definitely check it out with open sights. It'll tell you what kind of a gun it is, whether it's accurate or not. So an optic is not included with this gun, so I slapped on my Hawk Panorama. This is five to 15 by 50. It's kind of an older model of a Hawk scope, but it still does a fantastic job. Okay, and of course, next thing up is the 20 inch rifled barrel. Another traditional gamo feature, as well as the Whisper Fusion sound suppression system. And then below that we have the 125 cc air cylinder that fills from a standard Foster quick disconnect fill port. Woo hoo, good job gamo. I love that about this gun. I hate extra fill probes, so sweet. So the max fill pressure is 230 bar or 3,335 PSI, whichever language you like to speak in, which you can keep tabs on at the end of the air tank near the muzzle with the manometer. Gamo includes one 10 shot mag with this and it has a window indicating how many shots you have left as well as a white dot indicator to tell you when you're out that you can see better from the shooting position. Also, another cool thing is if you have a Gamo Swarm Gen 1, those mags are compatible with this. Okay guys, so on to operation. Check your safety, make sure it's engaged. Then you're gonna attach your fitting to the port on the gun, fill it to the max fill of 230 bar. Then you're gonna open the bleed valve and disconnect the fitting. If you want an optic, mount that first, otherwise open sights it is. Load your 10 shot mag with your desired ammo. Pull the straight pull bolt back. When you do that, you need to press down on it and pull back, otherwise it won't budge. Insert your 10 shot mag into the breech. Push your bolt forward, be sure it goes all the way in and up, aim at your desired target, disengage the safety, and pull the trigger. Okay, on to one of my favorite parts of these grip reviews is performance. How does the Gamo Arrow in 22 caliber perform? 
First off guys, trigger pull and DB reading. So for trigger pull, I got one pound 13 ounces. That's a pretty average trigger. And then for sound, on my dB meter, I got at the muzzle 78 dBs. And then I moved it 20 yards away and I got 77. So quiet that when I first started shooting it, I couldn't wait to get it over the chronograph to make sure that it was putting out the power that it was supposed to. I thought maybe something might be wrong with it, but no, it's just a super quiet air gun. So before I mounted my scope, just like I said, guys, I checked it out, open sights. I did not film it. I did take a picture of the results. That's not bad, but now I know that the gun is pretty accurate in and of itself. I tested it with a red fire pellet. That's before I knew which pellets it liked the best. So it may get even better results if those don't wind up being the favorite. All right, so time for some five shot groups. My testing off camera was at 25 yards and it shot great. So several pellets great, by the way. So I said, well, let's just go ahead and take it back to 50. It's a PCP, most, fit, most PCPs shoot well at 50 yards. Let's take it back there and see if it's a 50 yard gun. And quickly I found out, no, this is not a 50 yard gun, which some might be like, eh, whatever, I don't want that thing. But others, it's meant for backyard plinking and pesting guys. And a lot of people don't have 50 yard shooting ranges in their backyard like me. So it's perfect for some probably, but maybe others not. So don't turn a video off just because it's not a 50 yard gun because there's some really cool things about this gun that I wanna show you guys. I tested the JSB 15s first. I took it back up to 35 yards to see how it shot there. I was hoping it shot well because 35 yards is a good average distance. <laughs> Glasses are fogging up bad. How many shots? I think that was five, guys. Yep, that was five. Beautiful. That was an absolutely beautiful group. Next up are the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. I don't know, we'll see in the video, guys. That might have been five shots, but I'm not sure. So those ones didn't do near as well as the JSBs. They're not horrible, but definitely not even close to the JSBs. Okay, and guys, just because I have a couple extra targets in the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the hobbies to see how accurate they are at um, 35 yards, because they were actually not bad at 25. I don't know where those hit. Let me take a shot at the quadrant target and see what we're getting over here. Hmm. Oh, they're shooting low. Last one. I'm not sure where that one went. I will probably find it in the video, but that's not bad for 
those super light pellets. All right, guys, so the ones that shot the best were the JSBs. I'm going to do a full to empty test. So I'll finish out my testing with the JSB 15s and the arrow. What testing do I have? Well, velocity. Gamo claims a max velocity of 900 feet per second. With the lightest lead pellet, the RWS Hobbies 11.9 grains super light lead pellets, I got a max of 773. So I'm guessing that Gamo is testing their pellets with probably the PVAs, which maybe weigh about nine grains. We've got from full to empty. Let's see how many shots we get and what kind of accuracy we're going to get. I'm going to do the testing at 35 yards. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. Alright, let me load another mag. Okay, that's better. That is forty shots right there. That's 50 shots, so they claim 60. It's dropping big time. Yeah, I think that's it said I'm done. Yeah, it's making a funny noise. That's as far as I'm going. So I got 56 shots and I'd say the shots from the last mag dropped tremendously. So I honestly, for the best accuracy, I would stick to about 40 shots. But if you really want to, you can drag it out to 56. <laughs> So and be sure that you fill it all the way um, when you fill it to get the maximum amount of shots. I've got one more thing to do guys and that's the offhand test. So let me get set up for that. Now one thing that I am super impressed about this one is one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is its consistency in velocity and accuracy. I am absolutely kind of dumbfounded. I want to be like, Gamo, are you sure this isn't regulated? Because it sure does act like a regulated gun. Okay, from full to empty. The beginning velocity is 678. That's the first shot. Now about middle range, say about the 28th shot, I was getting 684. So that's like six more than the beginning, the very first shot. 
The 40th shot, I was getting 673. I am super impressed, guys. Really not that much of a difference. After that, it began to drop both in velocity and accuracy. At the 56th shot, I think 56th or 57th shot, I got 587 and I called it. So I didn't get 60 shots, but I got 40 extremely consistent in power and velocity awesome shots out of an unregulated PCP. I'm impressed. Okay, so on to the last test offhand. All right, guys, so how does the Gamo Aero 22 caliber PCP perform as an offhander? It should do really well because it's light and it's compact, so I should have have um, I should be able to have decent control over it, but let's find out. I got the canine target set up down there. Let's see if I can hit them. No, well, I hit one. I didn't make it go up though. There we go. Oh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Maybe the last one. I got a few more in my pocket. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah, that was it. Well guys, with a little more practice, I think it'll be great. Um, it's light, it's compact, pretty good offhander. So I had a few misses, but I had a few hits too. Not bad, not bad at all. Maybe each air gun's different shooting offhand, so maybe I just need to get to know it and then I'll shoot it better, but not terrible. I did hit some. On to cons and pros. Really guys, there's only one con and that's that Gamo claims 60 shots and I would say more like 40 consistent in power and accuracy shots, like amazingly consistent. And then you get maybe 20, give or take a few, less consistent, less accurate shots until the gun is completely depleted. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with 60 shots. That's about the only con. Now before moving on to pros, some may say that this gun is underpowered and distance disabled, but I consider it perfect for somebody who's looking for a quiet and close range, fun plinker slash pester. For a long range air gunner looking for max power and max distance, not for you but I wouldn't consider that a con. Okay, on to pros, guys. There are many. This one is light, compact, and much like the Urban, but more gamified than the Urban. And one of the ways it's more gamified than the Urban is it's actually inexpensive. The Urban is a few hundred dollars. This one's just a couple, about maybe a little over 200, not much more than that. So that might be a super important feature for some. Other ways that it's gamified, the barrel, the whisper fusion technology, the CAT trigger, the manual safety, the mag, the stock, um, that's all very gamified. So this one screams, I'm a gamo air gun, which is super cool. And of course, like I said, the price helps out too. Now, one of the things that really, really blows my mind about this one is I just want to call Gamma up and say, are you guys sure this isn't regulated? Are you sure? Because the consistency in power and the consistency in accuracy over 40 shots absolutely just blows my mind. Like I said, guys, I've not really ever shot, I don't think ever shot a PCP that's not regulated that is as consistent as this one. With the proper ammo and the appropriate distance, it is a very accurate air gun.
Another really, really great feature on this is the quick disconnect fill port that is just fantastic. No fill probes to keep up with. Super sweet. The option for open sights, absolutely wonderful. It doesn't come with a scope, but even when you get the gun, if you don't have an optic, you can still shoot it until your optic gets in. Um, the rotary mags are great. Um, you get 10 shots and it's compatible with the Gen 1 swarms. So if you already have the Gen 1 swarms, pop one of those mags in here. If you have a few mags, then you got loaded ammo ready to go. If you don't have some, they are available for purchase, so you can buy as many as you can afford at www.gamousa.com. Last thing, guys, I mean, there's really a lot of great things about this air gun, but if you're looking for something that's super quiet, maybe you live in a city, maybe you live in a neighborhood where your neighbors are really close, maybe you have a really small backyard, Whatever it is, if you're looking for a really quiet air gun, this is the trick. This is the quietest air gun, quietest PCP that I've ever shot. I actually looked up what I was getting with my Woods Walker behind me because it's super quiet too. This one's even quieter. I'm amazed. I think Gamo did a great job with this. And no, it's not for everybody, but it is for somebody. I would like to take a moment to say thank you to Gateway to Air Guns. Thank y'all so much for making these videos possible. If you guys have not checked them out, you really, really should. If you're an air gunner, you like air guns, you like shooting, go check out www.gatewaytoairguns.org. There is something for every air gunner alive. I promise. I guess, guys, that's pretty much it for today. I'm Airgun Angie with Gateway to Air Guns. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. All right, the Gamble Urban, not Urban. <laughs> this is the Gamble Arrow 22 caliber.